my battery, my, my money rather, my energizer's running low. So as we go out into the first class, you're going to be seeing what goes on. This slit, if you're new to truck and tractor pulling, it is a weight transfer machine. As you just watch that box, it will start in the back of the sled underneath the cab. This sled weighs in about 40,000 pounds of weight. As it takes off going down the track, it starts turning the front gear box. It has five different gear selections that make that weight box come up the rails a little bit faster in some classes, a little bit slower in the others. When we go to add some weight, there are about 18 to 2,000 pound weights that we'll add into the weight box, and that adds more weight into it as we try to catch these vehicles going down the track. Now this is a self-propelled, motorized piece of machinery. Will probably cost about a good size of a good house payment. So a lot of a lot of a lot of work goes into these things, and a lot of maintenance stays on top of them, and making everything squared away. Here at Dragon Motorsports, we have two sleds, and we put on 30 pulls throughout the state of Virginia the Maryland and in the North Carolina throughout our pulling season. So there's a lot of stuff going on with Dragon Motorsports, not only being here at Dra Dragon Motorsports Park, but other places throughout the area. John Seward out of Surrey, Virginia, on the 7,000 Ford, weighing in about 7,000 pounds on the hot farm. Little four-cylinder, got an intercooler, TO, six-charger. Four point eight one two twenty four point eighty one for John Seward. Yeah, he has to. He's the only one. Yep. Okay. Well, I will tell you the speed Seven. is twenty two twenty two point four. That's not that distance. That's got to be about right at three hundred foot. Thank you. 
Do you see the three second PRE button? It's a, the third little, the second middle little button that says three on it. Is it on the screen? On the, on the, on the, uh, on the, on the monitor, there's two buttons. One says AF, MF, and the other says PRE, REC. Press the PRE, REC. And it should toggle a little button in the three top of the screen that says three back. Do you see that little icon? Press the, P, press the PRE, REC. I'm not here, he can't see. Do you see that button now? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's what you want. You're good to go. All right, man. All right, that was the hot farm. Next, we're going into the mega trucks. give you the rundown real quick. We're going to have a uh, 7,000 pound hot farm, mega trucks, 52 V8 modified uh, tractors, modified minis, street shootout, and then big rigs. in the staging area. The 5,200 pound V8 tractors put them in the staging area.
26-23.4 on the speed. Not that any of that matters in this class. It's all exhibition. And this is the Devin Brand on the Chevrolet coming up next. Then Bush Self. Then Bain Rod out. Those four out here. Miller's Tavern, Virginia, that's where we're at. Mini Mayhem. We're going to have some blown mini rods, about five or six of those guys back there already. 3,000 horsepower apiece. New York, North Carolina. And right here in Virginia. Devin Brand out of Calio. Pixel Hunters out here tonight, they'll be flying the drone. We'll put that, as you'll see some of that in the stream, but we're also gonna run, uh, we'll put that in the videos sometime next week, the week after, when we get to it.
Team Minion number one. Puts him in his number one spot. I think he gave up the ghost trying to get it down there. 363.57. He's on fire. He's on fire. He's on fire. Coming up in this Chevy. Let's see if this Chevy can't beat out that four. This is going to be the last truck in this class and then we're going to move on to the 5200 V8 class. We're going to have to beat 363.57. That's the number to beat. 363.57. Coming out of Jarrett's, Virginia. Main equipment down there in Jarrett's. Right off the 95. You can see him when you pass Jarrett's. Tractors used to weigh 4,500 pounds, then they went to 5 Just want to take a quick second to say that June is Men's Mental Health Month, so if you know anybody, first responder, military, veteran, blue collar, any st stressful or traumatic jobs, or any men in general, just uh, ask them what's going on. If they need any help, lend them a ear, lend them a hand. Used to be 4,500 pounds, then 5,000 pounds, and now they're they're up to 5,200 pounds, I think. So. Up and down. I don't know. They keep on going up. Yeah, 52. Then it's some some of the things got five thousand. You know, you see the uh, schedule. 
Yeah, well, I don't really go by the schedule. Oh. How you doing, Kenny? All right, right. How's flagging? Hey, did you get new flags after you put out the fire with the no. flags? Look at them. They still got the oil on You gotta put those things in the dishwasher. I put them in the pressure wash. Pressure wash. And put degrees on. Well, then I, I mean, I had cleaner. Old, I had old running items. Oh, yeah. Kenny Gibson got uh, he uh, put uh, David Carlton caught on fire last time we had the Honky Tonk 300 in his two wheel drive. And Kenny just goes over there with the flag, and brushes it out. Kevin English from The Gambler coming out of Tappahannock. Snap-on dealer here, local. Which they doing, Surrey? Surrey. Surrey County. How you doing, man? on the gambler. He's out of Tappahannock, so if y'all Tappahannock born and raised, give him some love. I heard one John Deere fan over there. Your first track to pull three nine is a good pull on this track, so we gonna see what these boys can't do if they can't catch them and beat them right here. John Nickel on the Alice Chalmers, coming from Prince George, Virginia. Prince George, Virginia. Thank you. 
Dr. Pullen's been in John's family for decades now. His father raced, and he's racing now. He's been around it his whole life, and he built that tractor from scratch, from the ground up. So let's see what he can do tonight on this Alice Chalmers loose chain. All right. Like I said, Rocky Meadows is currently leading the pack. He's in the buck eater out of Chesterfield. Let's see what he can do here tonight on the buck eater. All right. fire suppression fire extinguisher if you look at that keystone truck and tractor museum that's quite a place to go when you're down in virginia uh they had a dear friend that's a good pull for rocky right there especially with points on the line that's a good one right there wayne spencer his tractor's in there wayne was going to pull about for three or four years Next ago up, we got daryl battle in the ticking chicken out of maryland the old ticket chicken all right Wayne died in the seat about right about right before he was about to hook to the sled. And Wayne's tractor is in the Keystone Truck and Tractor Museum. And there's a lot of tractors, road tractors, all kinds of stuff. Cars in there. They got a Shelby GT500. Uh, beautiful museum there down in a Colonial Heights. I've personally never seen a ticket chicken in action, so this will be my first time watching him, so we'll see what he's got here tonight. Daryl Battle, 
They used to have a, a two-wheel drive called the Chicken Chicken. This has got actually the Hillbilly Deluxe written on the side. But they uh, they they said that they told me last week we still got the Chicken Chicken. We're working on it. It's going to be back out. Chicken, chicken, running a farm mall. Any farm mall fans out there? Let's hear it. Running a Chevrolet motor. Coming down uh, 295, and uh, his, his uh, UTV is falling off the, 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 the trailer. He had the two wheels were off the trailer, about ready to come off, pulled off to the side of the road, all by himself. Poor man, got it. He got it ratcheted back on there. He made it safe and sound. UTV and all. Okay. Michael Alley. Young man built this tractor in his garage all by himself without no help from friends. And uh, these guys are a tight knit bunch. This is just great. All right, this is Michael Alley with Unfinished Business. He's a young buck to the game. This will be his first full season here. Uh, he just won a pull a couple weeks ago, so let's hear some love for him. Hopefully, he'll be in the game a long time. Everybody else is running Chevrolet. He's running a Ford. So any Ford fans, let's hear some love for him. All right, Michael Alley with Unfinished Business. leaders go we got Kevin English in first then we have Rocky Meadows in second then we got Michael Alley in third
in second, Rocky Meadow has 307 and Mike Alley has 305. So Chad Seal can get in there and uh, disrupt some numbers. They're pretty close, so we can see what he can do right here on Big Mama. And this is going to be our last tractor of this class. After this one, we're going to have the Mini Modified. Coming up first is going to be Jamie Evans. Speed 
and friction to be able to get these tires spinning, rolling, booking, all right. and going down. Will Witt here. This is the big camera. We got all our streaming stuff there. This, now, these are our drone guys right there. The Look at them. They've got a pro rod. Hunter They're Smith right there. Ryan Smith is daddy. He's actually about. running the live stream on that little so they can iPad right there. The where they want Warner to Beasley. Down Kenny center. Gibson right here. That's Kenny. And then uh, we're, that's how we do it. Taking photos. Just to let y'all know. At the end of the, at the, end of the right, night. back to the other view. Alright, we can switch to that and I'll go on. I'd like to thank WK Cook LLC, your hauling. Also, NNW Auto Supply, your federated auto parts dealer right there in Tampa Hannock. Also, TJ Towing, 24 hour towing available all the time, 24-7. Also, Conamara Corporation. Be able to help you with all your selling or buying needs in the real estate market. Also, custom whitetail taxidermy. You get in the hunting season, think you've got a nice buck, you want to be able to get it mounted, you need to talk whitetail taxidermy. There's the mini sled coming out of North Carolina, Eric Lloyd. And his son, they operate that all over North Carolina. Do you hear that? Also, Tabahannock Chevrolet for sales, service, and parts. Right there at Bray's Fort for all your Chevrolet needs. New and used vehicles on the lot. Come by Tabahannock Chevrolet. Oh, you hear a little bit of noise in the background. They're getting one little motor warmed up. Trying to make sure everything is ready to go on these vehicles. Also, Gilman Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing serving the Northern Neck for all your needs. As far as the air conditioning service work, heating, or even plumbing work. Remember, Gilman. motors all trying to get them warmed up and they're going to be back out here again tomorrow night be back here at miller's tavern pulling again Get the mini sled out here. What do you say, Rudy? Hanging in there. I'm hanging, baby. Working hard or hardly working? You working too hard. <laughs> hey, that's time to have fun. You're here. You can work while you're here. All right. Oh, you got Roy Pettigrew right there poking the. Roy Pettigrew is poking the track with his little sticker there. Oh, he's gonna burn about fifty dollars worth of fuel back there. Trying to get it all warmed up. Is that Mary in the hot seat? Looks like so. Might be her. You know that was, huh? She's waving. That is Mary. Young lady doing the driving out here, all the way from New York. Watch out, boys. Maybe in the house. 
Also, I'd like to thank CMF, Children's Metal Fabrication, for on site or right there in the shop, meet, right there in Aylet. Also, Conabara Corporation, your local contractor serving Northern Lake for your building construction needs for residential or commercial. That's Conabara Corporation. Atkins Propane for all your propane needs. Don't think about just the heating. Don't think about your cooling. As far as your, I'm sorry, your cooking dryer or even your hot water heater. Remember, Atkins Propane will take care of all your service needs. Also out here tonight, WWP. Will Witt's out here doing a video of this pool along with They've got the drone out tonight. So they're flying drone, taking pictures, overall picture, high in the air, down on the track, and then high in the air for sharp, for not only for Dragon Motorsports, but for also Interstate NTPA and also PPL, for all the poles throughout the East Coast. Will Witt, get on the Will Witt, the YouTube. WWP TV pulling videos. You can sign in, log in, subscribe to it. Even they've got a live feed where you can subscribe to the live feed and watch that out here. Alrighty, getting the sled, the mini sled out of the Carolina, uh, United Pullers of the Carolina. Jamie Evans out of Wilson, North Carolina, on the first tractor up on the tractor they call the Carolina Night Train. You want to talk about 3,000 horsepower and you're about, you're leg length away from all that horsepower. All the safe equipment on these vehicles as far as the driver with the fire suit and helmet and they've got the collar, neck brakes on, all the safe equipment on the tractor. The roll cage, kill switch, wheelie bar, skid bars, side, all the protection on those vehicles. That thing sounds like an old Chevette I had when I was a kid. Listen to it. <laughs> oh my God. Peanut, that's a wild crew you got over there on your trailer. I hope you charging them $5 a piece. That one over there over your right shoulder, not that one, the other one, you need to charge him $10. That's right. Class host is. Uh, Don't forget plenty of food. Get you something to eat, and also the 2023 Dragon Motorsports T-shirts, right up there at the shop, along with different things of food, and as far as a little little souvenir vendors up there, get you something there. The, get the sled squared away in the. You're talking, I don't know what these tractors run in speed-wise. Now, normally the speed is somewhere around, the top speed that they're running is somewhere around that 150 to 200 foot mark where they're getting that sled up and running and rolling and all of a sudden it's catching them on the other end. That's what we've got to watch out for out here tonight. These things are weighing about 2,000 pounds and they're so unpredictable. You're trying to keep them straight a little bit of wild hair. They've got individual brakes on the rear tires where they can touch one brake or the other, being able to steer. They want the front end to come up just a little bit, kind of touch down on the track. And then at the, towards the last 50 feet, they want the front end to come back up and maybe so they can transfer all that weight onto those rear tires to keep it the full traction on that vehicle to the track. <laughs> Also, I'd like to thank Bobcat of Virginia for providing the skid steer out here working on the track. Also, 
And our operators in track crew all out here making it work out here tonight. And right after these six tractors, we'll go into the street gas. And then we have the semis. It just went dead. Don't know if something was come loose on the kill switch. These these tractors are set up with safety equipment. We got the dog out there taking care of everything. <laughs> Maybe we had Earth Dog reincarnated right there. We know who he is. Kill switch, gonna need a tow. Kill switch pull. So one of the safety equipment with it, that safety chain right up there pulled on the kill switch and cut it off. Gonna need a tow, bring him back. We'll get him to fire him back up. This class is hosted by uh, the man in the two-tone blue right there, Tally Davis, Randy Davis, and Andy Lankford on the Bear Claw. They said, we wanted to have some minis around here, so they got about uh, five of their closest friends, and uh, we sent out the invites, told them what the purse was going to be, and they, uh, they came. Get, get, go on and get that Jeep, the tow tractor right behind you. Get them to come on up towards the start line. Parrish! Parish.
Now, the first puller in the class is your test puller. Since they've had a malfunction, it gives him the option to come right back. First in the class. He got that big bar on there, and all of a sudden, what they were doing was, you going you gonna tow him in the back on the drop? Okay. So, okay. Just going to push him back, get him on the hook again. He's the first puller. And go again or try it again. Now, these trappers are set up not with the, they've got an external starter on these things, but they've got to put one of those starters on it and being able to crank these motors over. I show you that. You got a koozie? Huh? No, I got this. I had these five for 10 years. But it says stolen from K, you get some longer. That's because Kenny won't give me, uh, give me one. Want to know more about truck and the bullet? You look us up on the website and find out the scheduling and what's going to be happening and where we're going to be next. Next weekend, got two pools on the books. For next, not tomorrow, but the following weekend, we've got a pool in at the Tom Scott Park in Amelia, Virginia. We up there with the Ace Productions. Also, next weekend, Double Book Weekend. We're gonna be in Orange, Virginia, at the Orange County Fairground for the Fair Association putting on a truck and tractor pull right there in Orange, Virginia, at the Orange County Fairgrounds. And then also in Amelia at the Tom Scott Park in Amelia. Then on the 24th, we're going to be heading over into Maryland, putting on a pool over there. And then we go to the end of the month. But you can look us up on the website, Dragon Pools, P-U-L-L-S, Dragon, D-R-A-G-O-N, P-U-L-L-S, DragonPools.com. Or you can go under the Facebook page. Dragon Motorsports INC, Dragon Motorsports Incorporated, INC. Click on it, gives us a thumbs up, see what's going on, chime in, see what was going on. We'd like to hear from you. We heard from you earlier in the year, talking about bringing the minis back, and they are here, and bringing them back. And out of demand is what the pullers wanted to bring them back, to bring them back for two days out here this weekend. Also, like to thank Brinson Dine Farms. Jim Herbert is equipment on site. Scraper and roller tractor. Thank you, big, big Jimmy. Now, if, if anybody to blame, Jim Herbert is the one to blame. He's the one that started all this. He got pulling back in the day with the four-wheel drive truck that used to be called the Jungle Jim, and they called it the Footloose. And ever since that time, it's been a three-generation ordeal. You had Temple running the footloose truck for many of years. Then about 15, 18, 18 years ago, got into the pulling circuit with the sled. And then the young children of Temple. You had Rebecca and you had Jeff Gordon, a.k.a. Or, I'm sorry, that was Mason, a.k.a. Jeff Gordon, doing the pulling on those two trucks, on the cut loose and foot loose. So hopefully we'll see one of those trucks out here tomorrow night. Oh, we have a good time, Kenny. We, somebody need to run to the store and get some more bologna. I think they run out of fried bologna sandwiches. They had chili dogs. Back home, they called them things 
gut grenades. Twenty-five, twenty-nine, two, two, five, two, nine, twenty-seven point nine. You know that thing's running about twenty. What is it? Twenty-seven point nine mile an hour, and he was only half throttle. Some serious, serious horsepower and speed. You saw that right hand come off that throttle. He said, no, sir, I do not want to hurt anything. That frame gets twisted, all that horsepower. And he said, no, back out of that throttle. Now, I bet you some of those other pullers are looking and saying, you know what, we're doing all we can. All the weight that we have is out on the front of these tractors. And they go across the scales and they weigh in at 20. 2050, but here on the scales, everybody's wing going across at that 2150 mark. I'm sorry, 2120. Right. Uh, Randy Davis is at a concert, so he's going to drive tomorrow night. And uh, Andy Lankford is in the seat tonight of the Bear Claw. Motorsports, Allie Davis and Randy Davis, many.
60 foot. That thing got a hook, and all of a sudden he just cranked back on it with his right hand and being able to take off. You got to be aware of the back. Hotel boy. Andy Langford on the bear call, 309 74. Man, how would you like to have that thing run down to the grocery store and come back? My goodness. You think groceries are expensive? The fuel bill would be entirely too high. tight chain looking down the track everything ready to go watch the red lights on the sled goes to green sled operator says he's ready flag is in turn him loose
Kevin English, come out on the track side. Kevin English, if you would please come out on the track side for me. It'll be Frankie Steve. Frankie Steve, out of Mount Olive on the money pig. Out of Mount Olive, North Carolina, will be your next puller. Everything ready. They'll spray a little bit of juice up in there, keeping that on that open hat right there, keep it from freezing open. Come out on the track.
I'll tell you what, Kennedy had an awesome run. That John Deere is just, just, just made for this track out here tonight. But I'm going to tell you what, tomorrow night will be a little different story. I'm going to be shooting for you. I'm, I'm on, I got my shotgun loaded for two rounds on it, but it's not working. But anyway, awesome run with the John Deere. I know that the girls are probably having, they're just tickled to death where they are. They're all on vacation. They're going to be back tomorrow. No, so they're still going to be down in Nashville and having a watch party. So uh, anybody gets good video, please send it to them. Yeah, I know they're all excited. That, that, that whole pulling family, the English family. Kevin is a second generation puller. His dad, Grayson, pulled for many years. Antiques, modified, whatever. I, did, did your daddy ever pull any horse and drum buggies or anything? You know, he come along by that time. I never heard any stories where he pulled horse. I do think he got a chain to a T-Rex. Had a T-Rex. Well, I know that he might have had a donkey up there, but anyway, we'll go on. But out here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin English put him on in number one spot with the gambler in the 52 economy mile. That's your number one spot right now. Just edging out Andy Lankford. Sorry about that. I had to run over and uh, do a little grad uh, ceremony for the winner there in the V8 modified class. What do you know about that, Cody? Man, that thing was kind of planting. Picked up the front end, back and forth, and just hard driving. Drifting through the center of the track and then lift a little bit to that left side. Up next, Mary Kale coming out of Strikers. Moving building. the marker, 323 right now, setting the leader marker with Cody Singletary. Coming out of Tar Heel. Alrighty, ladies, you got to get behind this young lady coming out here tonight, coming out of Strikersville, New York. Mary Keel on the spending their inheritance. Back in, 
Okay. All right, street guys, street four-wheel drive guys. The ruling is no weights in the cab, no weights out on the front. So if you got weights in the cab, you can take them out and put them in the bed, but you cannot have them in the cab of the truck.
one to go left in the class, Jamie Evans. Out of Wilson, North Carolina on the Carolina night train. and then 11 in the semi. Let's see if we can zoom right around Kenny. Kenny Gibson. Let's see that, there he is in the corner. Jamie Evans came out and had a, it looked like the kill switch was pulled and then he had a little hop in, up and down, up and down, all the way down about 200 foot. to go in the class. Jamie Evans. See if he can get this tractor hooked. 
He was your first pull in the class. Three fifty one seventy one thirty four point five on the speed. One mile an hour. Faster. Three five one seventy one. Add up, put him on number one spot. Thirty four point five miles an hour. Thirty four point five. You talking about picking them up and laying them down? <laughs> Singletary, he he owns both these mini runs. He's a happy man. Put one of them on the top. 351, 71. That's right. Started building the road right there toward the end. Out of Tar Hill. Hey, <laughs> to the big flag, <laughs> but I think we're going to have to have the skid steer push it off a little bit. Dan Thomas over there, Alec Thomas also uh, helps work on these machines. Cody Singletary, Singletary's lawn care out of Tar Hill, residential commercial, all kinds of projects he's got going on. So even with the new brick, it was charging, but then it stopped. Right I'll look at it tonight. What do you need, Temple? Need a front end loader? Jamie. 
What if you do anything different? Singletary landscape. Singletary, you, you can do all that. Yep. Here, come on out here. Come on, crew. Get the crew out here. Out here. Jamie, you had an awesome run. You had a good, looked like you were backpedaling. Your hand just came off the throttle, and you said, wait a minute. Things just didn't look right. What changes did you make to come out here to lay down a 34.5 speed? Well, you know, you're in control the whole time. You got the throttle, so all you got to do is let out. So I didn't feel good about it, so I let out and um, come back, and we was able to get the win. Well, I'm going to tell you what an awesome run. Mary had a good run. I said somebody is going to have to beat the band to get this thing here to work out here tonight, and you put it on the line. But it takes a whole lot going on. Who's helping out you? Helping out your crew and who your sponsors are? Singletary's landscaping. He's doing everything. Here's Mr. Singletary. Couldn't do it without him. He's a uh, owner operator well i'm gonna tell you what y'all had two good runs out here tonight awesome run hopefully we'll be able to you'll back that thing up again tomorrow night once again jamie evans on the night train carolina night train put him on your number one spot out here tonight oh he's gonna take a
time go bid. We ain't, got, yet. we ain't got 20 more trucks left. Huh? We ain't got 20 more trucks left. Mind over matter, huh? Street gas shootout. Here we go. Couple of Chevrolets, Fords, and Dodges here in the street gas. Aaron Bunch out of Edenton, North Carolina, the Chevrolet. Be your first puller. Then Cam Smith also out of Edenton with his Chevrolet. These go, these Nicholas go. Hayes out of Tappahannock on a 2002 F250. Your first three. And Brian Self on his street. Is your top four in the class to go. some changes to the split. Let's find out what's going on.
hot dog. street truck.
That's not. That's Casey Bateman out of Hertford. North Carolina on a 99 Dodge. Where's Michael Downing? The in line somewhere on the military 85 Chevy. On the Dodge, Casey Bateman. Oh, yeah. Little 318. administering the chat 297.94 23.7 on the speed Casey having a lot of bad luck the last three times he's pulled that truck all three times he's broke that ring of pinion broke the pinion off going into the rear he must love Alan Shoemaker out of Buckingham on the Chevrolet coming up next. your new leader right there, Alan Shoemaker. 305.13, 23.4 on speed, getting it done right now.
mean, what's going on? Welcome all. Welcome all. I've been busy running around. I haven't been paying attention to the chat. Kick win. On the board. The kiss of the sled. Doing the interviews and photos and videos and work, di we, we had an issue with our uh, drone camera connection. I'm trying to figure that out. About four more in this class and 11 semis. Four or five. Left. on the speed. Look at Keith Brickhouse. Don't tell OSHA. He riding on the back.
Trent's been good all night. Michael Downing got a lot for the military. About 85 GMC. Each class has been building the road, especially since it got really cool. All right, pullers with the semis. All the semi pullers. Any way possible, work it out the best way you can on the hitches. Make it sure that I get a number who, if we pull out of order, that's fine. I know who you are, but we'll work it out. If you got a problem with the hitch, get the truck to stay in line. We'll do what we can to make it work. Somebody's got to jump in line, we'll work with it. So, no problem. Thank you. Michael Downing on the easy rider. The man knows the limits of his truck. 204 06, 204 He got that Mako military paint job on there. Put Aaron Bunch coming back. He ran a 247. But you know that right front hub didn't look like it was spinning. I don't know if he had any problems with it or just didn't have it locked in. But going to come back on the reef of being a lucky dog. Your first four. Still sitting at the 316. One to go. Aaron Bunch out of Eaton, North Carolina, on his Chevrolet. I hope y'all ready for semi. I don't think y'all are. I Be the first on the hook. 
on a 2019 Peterbilt. And I believe Michael Rayleigh out of Mechanicsville, Maryland on an 05 Kenworth. And Randy Johnson also out of Cambridge, Maryland on a 98 Mac. Those are your first three in line. Uh, I don't know about what we're doing tonight. I mean, the promoter told me, he told me, he says, listen. Jacob Stylins. Jacob, you can come out here on trackside. Jacob I want, Stylins. I want fans here tonight. So Need to see you. On. We did the posters. We ran some advertising. We probably did about $300 for the advertising. Maybe four. I shared a lot. Maybe the first one. see him, Will. I believe they might be. Yes, him. Kenny Spoon. That's him. On a 2019 Peterbilt. Kenny Spoon. Don't forget tomorrow night, be back out here at 7 o'clock full time. 7 p.m.
Working back in somewhere. 17.3 on speed for Kenny Spoons, 279.82. Out of Mechanicsville, Merlin on an 05 Kenworth. Coming up next, then Randy Johnson on a 98 Mac. Eighteen point three, two forty six thirty nine. Growing pains, I hear you. Two, four, six, three, nine, eighteen point three on the speed. That dude's probably a corn star. Let's put 
that's put Kenny Spoon right behind Josh Anderson. Kenny, come on back. Dumping baby. That's what I'm talking about. Josh Anderson. 2005 Peter Bill coming up next. Y'all are gonna like this. This truck is absolutely beautiful. speed on that 276 272 67 
down to 279.82. Turn it down, coming back on the rehook. He, get, he dropped the first hook, the leading hook, and then he got put himself back in first again. Seventy-four, seventy, twenty-nine point zero on the speed. Hooting and a holler in the crowd is wild. Hey, there's a blue girl. Chief Naked Bear over here, he loves it. He's in the shorts right there. He loves it. Sydney Atkins, Chief Naked Bear, he loves it. 374 Yeah, 374.70. short time to get there.
29, 29.0 on the speed. 
27, 25.5 on the speed. For Cody Lopro Owens. Get a look at that logo. Nine, nine, seven. Cody. Wayne Raven. Thousand horsepower. Then we go to Bradley Owen and Grayson Kirby. Three to go here tonight. Yeah, three. truck, I tell you, 297 and 03, 23.6 on speed. Beautiful machine right there. White and green is the thing right there. It just looks like money to me. Two ninety seven oh three twenty twenty three point six. Two ninety seven oh three for Wayne. Two nine seven oh three. Lexington Park, Maryland on an 09 Kenworth.
nothing fancy, too. 317, 76, 316, 76, 27 on speed. Randy Owens, 316.66. 316.66. One to go. Grayson Kirby out of Studley, Virginia, on the 06 Kenworth. Stay right there. Don't move. Yeah. Don't move. Why? Okay. You move. Grab a gear, grab a gear. 275, 29. 20.5 on the speed. 275.29. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night. All right. My page. Oh, you said if you're filming her, you got to be paid. No, sir. Public domain. What? What? What's that here? The yoga. Yoga. believe that is it for the evening. Thank y'all for coming out here. Don't forget 7 p.m. pool time tomorrow night. I hate people when get it wrong.
did, I will put it on my daddy's bill. No, I would put it on his chest. Yeah, let's go. What do I do with my headphones, my keys?